When working out a normal mean, we add, then divide. When we're working out a mean from a table, we need to just remember not just add and divide, but m, m, add, divide and divide. M, m, mad, as I say. So, the M stands for middle. Look at all the categories in the table and work out the middle. 20 to 30, the middle would be 25. 30 to 40, 35. 40 to 50, 45, and so on. Once we've worked out the midpoints, we can tick that skill off. We're now going to multiply. So, 25 multiplied by 9. Sorry, 25 multiplied by 5 is 125. 35 multiplied by 9 is 315. 45 multiplied by 13 is 585. 55 multiplied by 8 is 500 and, sorry, 440. 65 multiplied by 7 is 455. And 75 multiplied by 8 is 600. That's our multiplying done. I can tick that skill off. The A stands for add. So let's add up all our numbers. By all the numbers, I mean all the totals we've just worked out. So we'll do 125, add 315, add 585, add 440, add 455, add 600, which gives me a total of 2520. I can tick off that skill. And finally we divide. Now we don't divide by 6 because there are 6 rows. When you work out the mean, you divide by how many things there are. So in this case, how many children. So I just need to work out what the total of the children is by adding up the number of children or the frequency column. So 5, add 9, add 13, add 8, add 7, add 8 is 50. So to finish off the question, I have multiplied using the midpoints, I've added and now I'll divide 2520 divided by 50. gives me an answer of 50.4 kilograms. Let's just check that quest that answer is reasonable. Well, the weights of the children varied from 20 to 80, so an, mid, an average, a mean, of 50.4 is very, very sensible. If I divided by 6, I'd have got a very big average, which wouldn't have been sensible, and that would be in the cue point that something had gone wrong. So there's lots of steps. And there is actually one other question I want to show you before you see the exam question. Here again, it wants you to do the mean from a table. And again, I would encourage you to think mean means add and divide. And m -m mad. Now the only difference on this one is, if you look at this category on the left, there isn't the, actually the option to find a midpoint. That bit's already done for you. So I can just tick that one off already. So then I will multiply, as shown. Now I will add. And finally divide. Now remember, when we divide, we divide by how many things there are. In this case, how many people were there drinking the cups of coffee? So I need to add up the frequency column. There are 22 people in this question. Finally, I will work out the division. 101 divided by 22, which gives me an answer of 4.6 cups of coffee. Is that reasonable? Well, the number of cups of coffee range from 2 to 6, so a mean of 4.6 is definitely reasonable. I'm happy with that answer.